Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of sequence and series, which deals with the concepts of arithmetic and geometric mean. And if I talk about the question here, we are taking this question from the topic of JWE advanced. We are taking this question from the year 2020. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, the question tells us that small m is the minimum possible value of the expression, which is log of 3 raised to y1 plus 3 raised to y2 plus 3 raised to y3 to the base 3, where y1, y2, y3 are given to us as real numbers with the expression that y1 plus y2 plus y3 is equal. We have also been given that capital M is maximum possible value of log of x1 to the base 3 plus log of x2 to the base 3 plus log of x3 to the base 3. Where x1, x2, x3 are the real numbers with the expression given to us as sum of them. We know these two expressions given. Now we have been asked in this question to find the value of log of small m cube to the base 2 plus log of capital M square to the base 3. So we need to find the value of this entire expression and there are four correct options which are given to us here. If I talk about the options which are given here, they are 2, 4, 8 and 16. So we need to figure out which of the following options is the correct option here. So let's figure out which out of the four options is the correct value of the expression. Before finding the value of the expression, first let's figure out the minimum possible value of small m and the capital M's maximum possible value. So we are going to use the result which we already have understood. That arithmetic mean of a list of terms is always greater than or equal to the job. So if I write it for a general idea of terms from let's say x1 to xn, we are adding all the terms from x1 to xn dividing by number of terms. That gives you arithmetic mean that is greater than or equal to nth root of product of all the terms from x1. So this is our entire result. Now let's figure out this result with the reference to the first expression given. So if I write that, we have three terms, 3 raised to y1, 3 raised to y2, and 3 raised to y3. So if I just take arithmetic mean, it is 3 raised to y1 plus 3 raised to y2 plus 3 raised to y3 on 3, that is greater than or equal to 3 raised to y1, 3 raised to y2, 3 raised to y3. With the nth root, so here there are three terms, so cube root you are taking. Now here if I solve this further, I get 3 raised to y1 plus 3 raised to y2 plus 3 raised to y3 upon 3 is greater than or equal to cube root of. Here if I see the base is same, so keeping the base same. If I add the powers because of the product, so we are just using the idea of exponents that says x raised to a into x raised to b is equal to x raised to a plus b. So whenever the with the same basis, if the expressions are multiplied, just add the powers here. Now if I just solve this idea, 3 raised to y1 plus 3 raised to y2 plus 3 raised to y3. That is greater than or equal to 3 times cube root of 3 raised to y1 plus y2 plus y3. y1 plus y2 plus y3, we already know that is equal to 9. So if I just substitute that idea, 
So you get this greater than or equal to three raised to or three into three raised to nine and cube root. I just write it as one by three. So nine into one by three makes it three raised to y one plus three raised to one. Greater than or equal three into three three into here you have three raised to nine into one by three so nine into one by three again just directly cancel out so it becomes three threes are so it becomes three cube so you get here it could be three that makes it three raised to four. So this entire expression we get that is greater than or equal to. Now what do I understand from this here is I need to find minimum possible value of this small m, and that is nothing but log of this entire expression to the base three. So if I just take log of the entire expression to the base three on both sides, so taking log on both sides with the base three. That is greater than or equal to log three raised to four to the base three. If I take that four ahead, get this four log of three to the base three. We already know that log of a to the base a, this entire expression's value is. Equal. So what do you get here, us? It is greater than. That is greater than. So we get this that log of this entire expression to the base three is greater than or equal to four. So if I just want to find the minimum possible value of this entire expression, that is all in log of three raised to five two plus three raised to to the base three. That is your small m, and the minimum possible value of that small m. Becomes equal to four because we know that this entire expression is just greater than or equal to four. When it is greater than or equal to four, the minimum possible value of small m I get that. So I have the value of first expression with me here. Now let's try to solve the same idea of arithmetic mean being greater than or equal to geometric mean and solve it for getting the value of capital M. So capital M is nothing but maximum possible value of this entire expression, and x1, x2, x3, all of the three are with the log. So let's take the three terms as x1, x2, x3 only. So if I use the idea again, arithmetic mean greater than geometric mean with the terms x1, x2, x3, it becomes x1 plus x2 plus x3 upon three greater than or equal to product of the three. And cube root, so I can just write that as raised to one by three instead of cube. Now, if I just solve this, I get x one plus x sorry x one plus x two plus x three is directly known to me. So I just substitute that value as nine by three. That is just greater than or equal to x one into x two. This gives me three. This is x one, x two, x three, raised to Now what I can do here is I can again take the log on both sides. So if I take again log on both sides with the base three here, this gives me that is greater than or equal to one by three comes ahead because it's in the power, and log of this product becomes log of x one to the base three plus log of x two to the base three plus log of x. So what do you get here is This entire expression is given to us as maximum possible value is capital M for this entire expression. So let's try to find the maximum possible value of this entire expression. We already know log three to the base three, that is log a to the base a is one. So this entire expression turns out one. And here we have used the idea that I'm taking log on both sides. So log of a into b, I can write that as log of b plus log of So I'm just using that idea here. So I get this log of x1 to the base three plus log of x2 to the base three plus log of x3 to the base three. That is less than or equal to three if it goes there. It's multiplied, and 
log 3 to the base 3 is already 1. So you get that as this. So we have this entire expression with us now. And we have been told that the maximum possible value of this entire expression is given to us as capital. So capital M is nothing but maximum possible value of this entire expression. We already know that the value of this entire expression is less than or equal to 3. So the maximum value I can get here is equal to 3. So I get small m equal to 4, capital M equal to 3. Now once I have this equal to 4 and this equal to 3, I just need to substitute that in the expression given. So if I just find the value of the expression given, it is log of small m cube to the base 2 plus log of capital M square to the base 3. You get this log of m cube so capital small m i know it is 4 so 4 cube plus this becomes log of 3 that i have 3 square i can just write this as 4 cube or i can just write 4 as 2 square so 2 square cube and this becomes log of 3 square to the base 3 3 if i take it ahead or let's keep it there only this becomes 2 raised to 2 into 3 that is 6 this becomes log of 3 squared. So we get this expression as 6 log of 2 to the base 2 is 1 plus 2 log 3 to the base 3. So we get this as 6 plus 2 and 6 plus 2. So I get this correct answer for the question as 8 and if I see the option that matches here with the question is option C. So C is the correct answer for the question which is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question which deals with the relation of arithmetic and geometric mean. So we just use the idea of arithmetic mean greater than or equal to geometric mean and solve the entire question to get small m equal to 4 and capital M equal to 3. Just substitute small m equal to 4 and capital M equal to 3 in this expression. And we got the value of the entire expression to be eight. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE Advanced till June 10th. After that, we'll come to our normal series of continuing the questions on 11th, 12th and JWE Mains. So till June 10th, stay tuned for the questions on JWE Advanced. So do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, do share these videos with your friends who are also involved in the preparation of JWE Advanced. Thank you.